Derek Dieter or Darius Stewart deep for the tie. It's a short kick. And Stewart from the 12. Nobody yet. Who won? Nobody. Who won? I took. You just. I told you. Alabama's gonna win. Maybe Clemson will win. We don't know. But who do, who's the Minnesotas? There is no Minnesotas. Minnesota Vikings! They, they quit their job! Quinn! Don't walk in front of the thing. The, the Minnesota Vikings quit their job! The pass batted down and the very first play is Christian Wilkins. Minnesota should be recruiting from this. These teams. Minnesota? Yeah. The Minnesota Vikings? Yeah, they should recruit. He's giving them the home run play. See him swinging the bat? Yeah. Home run. Lot of pressure, and they will attack this offensive line. And this I told them not to walk in front of the thing. You are rude, Keegan. Scott from creating good field position for Deshaun's first possession. And he drives Scott back to the 20. They have a coverage team, swarms down there, and Artavis can't get away. So from the 22, here comes Deshaun Watson. He's a junior, but this should be the final game of his college career. At times, Kirk, he's put a lot of pressure on himself this season. Twice a Heisman finalist, a runner-up in the game a year ago. Did he find that calm, almost flawless performance that he had last year? That, that's going to be the key. And, and the pass rush from the defensive line from Alabama. Clemson wants to be able to get Deshaun Watson settled and in that zone with his accuracy and his decision-making with the run-pass options. Unlike Bama, the Tigers have been very crisp and sharp early in games offensively in recent weeks. This is Wayne Gallman. He feed the workhorse running back, and he gets the edge. This is knocked out at the 30. Oof. Oof. They get Gallman going early. Wayne Gallman running with a little bit of an attitude. Oof. We know that Bama's coming in with an attitude after what Deshaun Watson did to him last year. But when Clemson gets first downs, that's when you really see the tempo crank up from Watson. Empty backfield on first down. Watson. Pressure and sack. Not today. In there was mm. Big Jerron Payne, the nose guard. And Payne is able to, this is, this is the matchup, and this is what Clemson has got to be concerned with. Watch the hands and watch the quickness from Payne. Dang. Going right around Taylor Hearn. Remember, Payne is 320-pound defensive lineman. You get caught up with Jonathan Allen and Dalvin Tomlinson and Tim Williams and Ryan Anderson. Payne makes a big play here early. And out depth, but not as much as last year. You saw Payne being spelled on the second and 14. Watson flips it inside in traffic. A shovel pass to the tight end, Jordan Leggett. A flag is down. These two defenses are flying around. Sean Watson sitting down. On the field still. Sean is a tough guy, and he's gotten stronger since last year. Take shots. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness. Defense number 10. Fucking no penalty. Oh, 
Gotta be kidding me. Ruben Foster hit the quarterback, and that's the penalty. Hey, remember, we talked about how Alabama wants to send a message. Watch 10. Ruben Foster come in here late after the shovel pass. Right Bam! There with a club to the head. I mean, that, that is. That's why Watson was staying down. They're trying to send a message to Deshaun Watson. It cost them 15 yards. Ball moves to midfield. Deshaun's He's scared. Pretty good at shaping off that kind of stuff. So we got the ball, delivers to stop. Get water ready, water ready. The receivers had an excellent night blocking on the edge against the Buckeyes, but is that a tough receiver yeah. against Alabama? Nobody's won yet. Oh. These corners do a really good job of getting off their blocks, and their eyes are right now on Deshaun Watson. So you, you hit Deshaun Watson like that, you're obviously trying to send a message to this Clemson offense. This is going to be a defense game. This isn't your average quarterback. You know, you're you're going to press his buttons as well by doing that. And it opens up other aspects with an overly aggressive move. Oh, they both five zero. This is Dolman stumbling forward Daddy. and dropping yeah. to 44. Oh. It'll be third down and four. Oh. Third and four. Oh. Yeah. Third and four. Tigers don't sub, so the tie can't either on defense. Very efficient on third down. Third and four with his ability to run. Gives him the option of both running and passing here, depending on what Alabama shows him. Uh oh. Time rush five, complete. Battling near the marker there is Anthony Averett stopped Big Mike Williams. The spot very close to the first down yardage. Everett makes a heck of a play. The scout report said that Clemson in these third and shorts, they're going to go to the quick slant. He breaks on that ball, anticipating the slant, and is able to keep Mike Williams short of the first down by about a half a yard. Averitt giving away about 35, 40 pounds in that matchup with the strength. But that's the first down, fourth and very short, and the offense on the field at 41. Puts Clemson in a very tough spot, still in that shotgun against this defensive line. Yeah, Keegan, watch this play. So, watch this play. And the play clock was at one. They've gone for it now 25 times this season. If in fact they do run a fourth down play, pretty good success rate. Yeah, the defensive line's different. All those other 